what's up youtube welcome back to my channel i'm steph growing in zone 6b if you are here for the first time welcome for the first time guys this weather has been crazy and it is cold out here i had to run out here yesterday you know i if you watch my previous video my greenhouse reveal um i was showing you guys that i had put a thermometer in my greenhouse to track what the temperatures were like um so i will show you guys um if things survived i mean it got down to probably 20 whew, 22 23 degrees last night and the high yesterday was like uh 31 32 degrees something like that i mean it was cold um so you know i ran out here to protect my seedlings and um ooh, we're gonna see how they did hopefully not too much of an issue i'll show you guys what i did so right now in the greenhouse um it is 56 degrees see 56 degrees um i put in a little heater which um it's so small in here i can't really show it. that's my little heater it kept it warm enough it got down to it, it got to right above freezing like in the middle of the night last night so um i just left it um i have some napa cabbage that i potted up right there and napa cabbage is not as cold hardy as um other cabbages so i was really worried about that but it looks good um i don't see any frost there's some new uh growth right there right there in the middle i have one right there over here i have one two three so i have six napa cabbages they all look good yes i am growing them in pots napa cabbage does not um require a lot of space i have also of course my little seedlings here and i think these these lettuces um they're starting to get stronger i turned the heat off of them this is looking kind of dry right here but it's okay these ones are doing okay i noticed um this spinach here is kind of reaching for the light a little bit well it was um but these is gaining some true leaves there there it's got some new growth there this is a red russian kale right there um and these broccoli seedlings haven't done anything yet um and my cabbage needs to be planted out which i'll do this week now um i'm gonna put out another video to show you guys what i did um, in the yard, I've been working on the yard. If you've been following me, you know my yard was a mess. I hate for my yard to be a mess. Um, so I'm working on it. Oh, another thing I did, don't do this. When I first built this greenhouse, remember I was showing you guys um, all of the kind of modifications I have to do. You know, if you buy a cheaper greenhouse, you're going to have to do some modifications to it. There is still, you know, some air pockets in here but i'll show you what i did to secure it i finished the greenhouse sort of but there was one window this window right here um which oops. anyway sorry this window right here it opens see um and this has this latch here that like clicks on to this thing and then you can have like um air circulation in here well i the window flew off because the wind was very strong i did not secure it properly so because it was so cold outside and i didn't, wasn't getting ready to stand out here all night i duct taped it yeah i know duct tape doesn't last that long and i also put like a bungee cord here and secured it to the garage there now one thing that i will tell you about this greenhouse if you are considering purchasing something similar when they say that it has to be flush against the house 
it has to be flush against well the uh, house garage whatever your surface is it has to be flush because by me having um these grooves right here in my garage um it makes it doesn't lay flat to the greenhouse but you know i'm okay with that i primarily bought this greenhouse to start my seedlings it looks like they're getting acclimated and doing uh very well i have been in the house doing some potting up um there is always one thing that you go overboard with the seedling and for me this year it was coleus i think i potted up over 30 something coleus plants um i do like to have flowers in my yard as well as um, vegetables so i'll be making hanging baskets and then selling the rest um once i'm done making the baskets okay uh stay tuned for the next video where i am going to show you guys what i did um in the yard so far it's a work in progress spring the 10 day forecast looks really good so i'm hoping to get out there and get a lot more done but so far i like the way that things are coming along um if you have not done so please like and subscribe to my channel it really does help the channel a lot to do that um and i will see you guys on the next one okay take care and bye for now